Hello everyone and welcome to Hansard Mania. Thank you to... <laughs> I didn't catch the full username. Valorant. Valorant Champions Tour underscore AJ. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you are a fan of the Hansard. I hope you are a fan of transcription. I hope you are a fan of stenography. I hope you are a fan of of Parliament. I hope you are a fan of 200 years of pointless representative democratic oration where we will be perusing the most unusual terms that have ever been uttered in Parliament between 2022 and 18 15. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the snub. You have brought the squid down to bless the stream. Get these cards out. Spam this card if you love Hansard. Is it Hansard? 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 Let's go. Uh, uh, um, Hansard pronunciation guide. Welcome. Great to see the welcome back. Jabal Garbal, welcome to the stream. It is always a delight to see some new faces here. Love to see this community grow. You swell. Thank you very much for the eight months, Rosanna. The squid is here to bless the stream. Hazard. Hazard. Huh? Hazard. Thank you very much for the twenty months. Hazard. Um, the squid. The squid is here to bless the stream. Um, it's called the hazard. The UK parliamentary hazard. Hazard. All right. Hazard. Hazard. Is that right? Hazard. Hazard. Oh, thank you very much, Bird.exe. Always Hazard. good to see some new faces Hazard. here in the chat. It's always great to see this community grow. Thank you so much for summoning the bell. Hazard. Who, if, Hazard. Um, who shot me? Hang on, that doesn't. Right, so Hazard. Check this one. Hazard. This is the American guide, so maybe it'll be different. This one will be different because it's the American. Recovery. Hazard. Uh, and it's certainly looking at those hazard mitigation principles, looking at those sort of hazard. best practices hazard. of sustainability. These kind of eruptions are a different kind of hazard. Uh, we, we do have four warnings. Hazard. Typically, we have four hazard. warnings. Of They're saying it's pronounced hazard. Big flashier spring and winter hazard. floods, hazard. posing a major flood hazard to the Rogue Basin. They're saying hazard. 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 Hi, Fof B minus so Sofof. Hazard. Minus Fofa. Thank you very much for the follow. Do you know how to pronounce um, the UK hazard. parliamentary hazard? That's right. Hazard. I'll just check. Let me just check this video. Hazards. Hazard. 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 Is this how you say it? We also have hazard. 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 Oh, I spelt it wrong in there. Hazard. 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 I searched Hannard pronunciation. Hazard. 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 Oh, here we go. Hazards. Hazard. Uh, hazards. Looking at those hazard hazard. principles. Hazards. Looking at those sort of best practices of hazard. the hazard. 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 A different kind of hazard. Uh, Thank you very much for that. We, we do have bits. hazard. 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 Hansard or Hansard. Pyro, you're not in hell. You've been blessed. The squid has been here. I'm here. Hansard. All or of Hansard. my friends are here. People are giving bits. It's 
bangle posted an angry ice cream bird? Hansard or Hansard. I'm so happy. Oh, I, I must have uh, raised the donation cap to four pounds to stop spam. You know what? Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down Hansard to three. Hansard or Hansard. Hansard or Hansard. How do you pronounce Hansard? Hansard, Hansard. Hansard or Hansard. Hansard or Hansard. Hansard, Hansard. or Hansard. 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 The official report of this in the British Hansard. Commonwealth Parliament. Hansard. Hansard. The merchant of Hansard. one of the hands towns. Hansard. 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 The official Hansard. Hansard. discussions in the British and some Commonwealth Parliament. Hansard. 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 How do I pronounce Hansard? Hansard. 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 Thank you so much for the. Hansard. Hansard. Thank you so much for the subscription. The squid has come and blessed the stream. Um, thanks so much for helping out. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Hansard. Hansard. Also just trying to raise the. Hansard. Lower the minimum. Hansard. 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 Discussions in the British and some Commonwealth parliaments. Hansard. 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 Thank you, sir. Hansard. 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 Um, Hansard. Glenn Hansard. The official Glenn Hansard. Glenn Hansard. 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 Is there anything else I need to set up? Hansard. Hansard. The official report of... Okay, we're here. We're ready. We know everything we need to know about the Hansard. What are we going to search? Please suggest any terms you can. I'll pop them in the Hansard Mania Moose. You could also put Scampy in. I see Scampy. Cook hold. You want to cook hold as well? I am Ross Geller from Friends. I illegally procured the hip on of a diplodocus. We were on a break, not on 11. What's that? I love dinosaurs. Thank you very much, Ross from Friends. Bogey. Squirrel. I won't use all of these because some of these feel like they're funnier. QAnon. I don't know if they say QAnon. Panther. Yeah. One of the first time someone said Panther. Woke. Polka. Princess Diana, da Daddy, Sweetheart, 
googly eye, gangrene, Slavonian grebe. I bet that has come up. And the RSPB in the UK is one of the largest pressure groups there is. Gangster rap, Terry Wogan, Dracula, Peanuts, McDonald's, Conkers, Eurovision, all the spaghetti. Everyone bearing their hearts tonight. Connor Piper, Tempe, Camel Knickers, As a Gamer, Rain Damage, Memorial, uh, Kite, Blackburn, Robot, Copacetic, Potemkin, Pampers. You're really all going for it. I look a bit too orange. Neoliberalism. Adult baby. Oh god, okay. Neoliberalism. Adult baby. Mary Poppins. Inspector Gadget. Cara Emerald. Who's that? Simp Clestery. Never heard that one before. That is the first to me. In my brain. That word is a new visitor in my brain. I'm not going to put the asterisk since that's SK, but I will. Fart with furry. I think we're all just trying to run our energy out. We're all trying to get our batteries to zero so we can clonk out. Sonic Fox, hello Josie. Dogging, phrenology, Basil Faulty. Sonic Fox, <laughs> homunculus, qualm. That's something, is that something within the TOS IDM? to consume intelligent dance music goodness gracious electric kettles girl boss that's funny we also put chugi sizigi sizigi is just uh, planetary alignment right feral poppers better watch it Beast of Bodmin, Frothy, <laughs> Je Gemini, Aerated Bread, Numa Nultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, Numo Nultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, Saint Jimmy, Womble, Squeegee, Wolfbag, Milton Keynes, Channel 4. Not going to search that one. Jersey Hypatia, we'll keep within the TOS. Shut Up. Airwolf. Whoopsie Daisy. I wouldn't put an E there. I'm going to write Whoopsie Daisy like the flower. Lacquer. We have fun here. Seepage. Globalisatiob. What's this list for again? In theory, it's stuff we're going to search into the Hansard, but obviously there's too many, so I will. That's illegal. Uh, uh, apostrophe in there. That's illegal. Time. Hasselhoff. Fortnite. Josiah Wedgwood. <laughs> you don't have to be mad to work here. I'm going to search. I'm going to truncate that Josie Russell to fun at parties to maximise the chance of getting some for being British it's illegal to say you're English I'll, I'll just put that in as well Cupcake, Kim Cattrall Bollocks, Captain Tom Hazard Yed, Typo Captain Tom kept <laughs> that quiet <laughs> Dancing, Holly Bobs, Paperless Office, Live, Laugh, Love, Delete This, Sean Morley. Sean Morley might come up actually because um, one of my many namesakes who actually stole my Twitter account from me and then died, died in such a way as to change um, some traffic legislation. I used to. Actually, I can't wait to find out more about it to be honest. Stinker, Doctor Doom, sleeps until Christmas. 
back in in my day ginger nuts hi jambered jambered would you be willing to help run some polls for me or some bets would you be willing to run some betting for me as a mod we have so many things to search and with some of them i want to run bets on whether we think they'll be in the hansard or not okay please stop stop now stop now <laughs> stop stop now look how many search terms we've got i know it's fun but hot meat can we also do cute meat soup crisis tony the tiger um jokeification continuous paper stop now bimbo why stop hot pants Turkish baths. Imbo. Okay. Can Jambud? Can Can you run a a um a bet, a gamble, what's it called? A betting thing on whether the word piss will appear in the Hansard. Um Twitch has an integrated betting system. You can bet channel points. Uh, on the outcome, or we'll find out. A prediction, great. Deep snake. Put theremin in there, pilled. Pilled. Uh, theremin. And also put sweep snake. Now, I'm going to level with you now. I'm not going to search all of these in order. I'm just going to flick through the list and find the ones that I think are funny. If you're absolutely adamant I could search something can you can donate for it and then it will prioritize it but as it is <laughs> i have too many so i'll just pick the ones i think are funny piss enhanced so the prediction is now live you have one minute left to predict and then i think i will show it and then and then we reveal the results. Should we get something with more of a beat? I actually thought this would be the vibe, but it's not the vibe, is it? Not the vibe, is it, this? We need a beat. Hmm. What we put on that's got a beat? Let's just put a... Um, Lo-fi... Creative Commons. I think I want one of those little recurring hip hop beats. That's all I want. And this is also ambient. Where did we used to get our music? You want to be the low fire? Oh, yeah, I want to be the Hansard. Um, let me find something. I just want a little beat. I want to search it. Let's just go to. Uh, let's just go to. One plays here. One plays here always has something for it. Wherever we're lost, wherever we're stuck, whenever we're sad, one plays here is the place to go. There's an album called Cell Phone from last month. Perfect. Ah, perfect. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's too, it's too much. I'm going to turn it down. It's too much. <laughs> it's too I need somewhere between those two vibes. That's too much. Um just find something in between the two. I mean, I'm, I'm always a big fan of Incredible Cart Game. Let's just do Komiku The Adventure Goes On Volume 2. That's, that's always a nice time. Not really a beat. You want it. You, want, you don't want this. You don't want us to be chill. You want to be absolutely... You want to feel like you've just had a million Palma Violets and gone for a run around the block. Not me. For the Hansard? No way. You guys need a vibe check. Let's find out if Pierce is in the Hansard. 
Here we go. Twice. Oh, hang on. Let me um, just change that from 2017 to 1800. Piss has been said in the Houses of Parliament loading um, itemised results. But it looks like over 10 times. Yes, piss was said a lot in 1969. It was said the most in 1969. Um, piss was said... <laughs> piss was said in 1904 during the, a discussion on the Scottish Education Bill. Mr. J. A. Balfour said, I hope it will piss this session. What does that mean? These are past typos. You think? I mean, it, I hope it will pass this session it does make a lot more sense. It's a typo, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, no one said it. Moved that the bill do now piss. Yeah, they meant pass. Someone's been having a laugh. Hang on, what have we got? Try to... Re okay, this is surely an extraordinary situation. One of my colleagues has just said to me, try to arrange these words. Piss up, brewery, organise. And then there was an interruption. <laughs> there was an interruption while he was speaking. On a point of order, Mr. Goulet... Will you tell the honourable member, since when that expression, piss, was a parliamentary expression? <laughs> Let's read them all. Okay, moved at the bill do now piss. I hope it will piss this session. I don't see the word piss here. Piss. I have heard nothing but piss and wind all the time I have been in the committee. Oh, and then someone being annoyed that someone said piss and wind. Emily Thornbury said piss in 2011. Emily Thornbury was on um, Corbyn's cabinet. I once met Emily Thornbury in the Hive in the Edinburgh Fringe. I was in the Hive and someone had brought a show that year. Maybe it was no, 2018, 2019. And someone had brought a show which was just a slideshow of cats. And it was submitted anonymously to the big room in the hive. And it would play around midday. It was just an it was just an hour of um It was just an hour of cats and calm music. And one day I just saw Emily Thornbury come out of it. I said, Are you Emily Thornbury? Said, yeah, have you just sat and watched an hour of a slideshow of cats. I said, yeah, they're great. I get a selfie. <laughs> That's a picture of me somewhere. Anyway, why did she say piss? Piss against everything around here. Inevitably, they'll be picking, pissing in their stations and they won't like it. Oh, because Crossrail needs to build toilets. Understood. All piss and wind said in 1972. Um, riding on the coattails of Mr. Lubbock there. All piss and wind. And what's... This? Bog off Pratt features. Piss off. The court transcripts records records that Mr. Smurden said that he was exceptionally calm and never swore. The take revealed that he said, bog off, pat prat features, piss off. <laughs> Great. I love this. 
Going back to 1930. This could be our earliest piss. It's another typo. Is the committee prepared to piss a clause? Nineteen sixty-eight, earlier than the previous piss. <sighs> to piss on a good title to developers. It's another mistype. Someone, honestly, someone who served as one of the parliamentary transcriptionists between nineteen sixty-eight to nineteen seventy-one had this real blind spot between piss and pass. Local government finances, Andy Slaughter has apparently said the word piss. Piss up in a brewery. Stephen Lawrence inquiry. Grim, 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 grim. Why did piss come up? Okay, yeah, all right. The Stephen Lawrence inquiry. Jeez. Another piss up in a brewery statement. This one is racist. Piss? Okay, let's get through. That was President Trump. That's the state visit. Yeah, we found some racist, but we actually found two pieces of racist piss. But the most recent was. Um, well, it can't have been from Trump, right? Because Trump wouldn't say piss up in a brewery, would he? Is that an American? Is that an American expression? Hello, one, two. I I probably don't get a lot louder than this. I've boosted myself since last time. Turn the music down, then. I'll turn the music down a little. Trump wouldn't play it. Where's the piss? Might piss either. That's pass again. That's 1903. That is the earliest piss. Zimbabwean independence. Please don't say that the Zimbabwean parliament couldn't organise a piss in the brewery. Describe the wine manufactured in Rhodesia from imported grapes as weasel piss. Antisocial behaviour. Old West. Piss? Thinks of piss, doesn't it? Yes, dear, said Lena. Can't you stop them pissing in the lift? Asked the woman. I don't think I can, said Lena. Well, said the woman, if you can't stop them pissing in our lift, how can you expect me to believe that you can stop the Germans rearming? If we can't get the... This is Orchard Park. What's this stuff about Germans rearming? <laughs> is it a good point? Disability Discrimination Bill. Why are you saying piss? Rail passenger information systems should be more widely available. They will be. Rail vehicle accessibility is require that PI, PISs? Is that like a PIS is an acronym and this is more than one PIS? So it's PISs. Okay, that's piss. What's coming up next? What do I think would be funny? I think bogey is going to come up. I don't think that's interesting. Woke is going to be someone in 1905 saying, I woke to find, you know. I want to try googly eye. Dambud, can you do a prediction? Does googly eye ever come up? Will it come up in the Hansard? Has anyone ever said googly eye in the House of Lords or the House of Commons? All of these others, do you know that? that that's... I'm going entirely on the basis of, will it be, am I unsure? Sweetheart, everything else here, obviously will have done. Moose, Scampy, Cook, Old Cuckoo, Pokemon, Fettel, Piss, Scampy, Bogey, Squirrel, QAnon, Panther, Woke, Polka, Princess Diana, Daddy and Sweetheart. One, one min was great, yeah. And I'm actually going to start whittling down based on that. Gangrene, yes. Slavonian Grebe. Why not? Spider-Man, 100%. Thanks, Raptor Rogan. I do just want to find out when Dracula. Dracula might be based on when do you think it was said. When do you think we get the first Dracula in par Parliament? Edith McDonald's Conquers Eurovision. I want, I want Orb. Orbs are really good. It's a game. 
gamer. As a gamer. We stick that. Maybe I want to stick things that are like special like Okay. You have 40 seconds left to predict whether googly eye has ever been said in the Houses of Commons or the Houses of Parliament since 1815. Adult baby. Back to gadget. Simp. Art noise. I think all of these will. Ration? I don't know. I feel it will. I feel like it will. Girl boss. Chugi. I'm interested in those. Better watch it. Beast of Bodmin. Um. We have fun here. Uh, ball lightning. That that sounds fun. Uh, you don't have to be mad to work here. That sounds fun. <laughs> it's illegal to say it. I don't know. We'll have to find some variant on that that's like more plausible. In these all will have been. Delete this. Yeah, have I come up? We can name search ourselves. Sleeps until Christmas. Doctor Doom. Okay. Already forgotten what we're doing. Googly eye. Is there an easy way for me to check what it's on? Like, who? what's winning in the votes? I should have checked. I should have followed it as it was happening. On me. It's on me for not hosting correct. All right. Between, between 1800 and 2022, has googly eye ever been said? Parliament. Twice. Twice. Very close. Very close to winning the nose. Unfortunately, twice it has been said. During the national superannuation and social insurance bill discussion and the foreign affairs and defence discussion. Why was it said? Googly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is just the word googly. This is just googly. And and also the word I. Hmm, I, I think I need to put speech marks around it. I think there's been uh, there's controversy here. Yes. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to rectify this. Googly eye has never been said. Googly eye has never been said. Sorry, Jambud. I don't know if it was cashed out. <laughs> I feel like I'm running some sort of... Oh... Sorry, Jambud. I've given you a hard task, but I've learned how to search now. Jambud is always very sensible. Okay, what's the next thing to check? <laughs> as a gamer, <laughs> do we think as a gamer has ever been said? And we can search that phrase now. Has as a gamer ever been said in the House of Commons or the House of Lords? Yeah, I will use quotes this time. Wow, a lot of confidence on googly eye. I think a lot of people have bankrupted themselves tonight. Oh, not that many more betters, but the betters were way more confident. Let's see how it looks for as a gamer. Okay. The missions are closing in 20 seconds. Not on your life is coming out ahead here. Now, I don't really know how it works. I think you get odds. I think it works like a basic bookies kind of thing. So, so 
if everyone thinks it's not likely and you're one of the few people who think it is going to happen, I think you win a lot bigger. Okay, almost everyone thinks it's not happening. As a gamer. It's hard to say, right? Because sometimes there are transcriptions of things that people want to quote. As a gamer, between 1800 and 2022, has it ever been said? Never. Never. No one's ever said as a gamer. Obviously. Oh, Sweden's anti-gambling laws won't let you bet channel points. You can't... Without the quotations? Yeah. I mean, this doesn't count. This is just for curiosity. But, uh, yeah, let's search. Yeah. Um, even in 1968... Gamer is just being re referred to anyone involved in gambling. In fact, they're using Gamer back in 1940. Gamer. The government would beg to store such articles, but did not Gamer nearly enough reserves? They, they must have meant Ghana. Do you know what that is, right? Because that's not even a typo. That's someone reading something that's written down, and they've seen the R go into the N, and they see it as an M. That's not like a typo. That's someone reading handwriting. Oh, yeah, no, CR error. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. A computer reading handwriting. Did not gamer enough reserves. Although, yeah, there's only one down there, isn't there? Nintendo was found in 1890. I have some of the original Nintendo card games on the shelf. Ooh, awkward to get it now. I've got early Nintendo. Um, okay, what's next? What's next for us? As a gamer, we did it. Adult baby. Has the phrase... I love this. I love that I'm running a casino now. And I love that this is what we're gambling over. Has the phrase adult baby ever been said in UK Parliament in 200 years. The word adult and then baby next to each other. Maybe that man said gamer instead of Ghana. But gamer doesn't sound like Ghana. Tenderhook sounds like tenterhooks. Yeah, I don't know. It could go either way. Because there was, you know... I mean, I'm always harping on about when Neville Southall tried to give a platform to the adult babies. When he was trying to expand his, you know... As part of his intersectional awakening. Um, so I think it's very plausible that an MP got told that adult babies are an important sexuality to... To legislate for MPs get hooked on all kinds of ideas. You put a crossed out Swedish flag at the top of the stream. No, because then it will sound like I don't like it. you know that that does sound like a little bit like Swedes be gone. Oh a lot of nays. A lot of nays. Oh, no, there are actually way more yays, but they are voting way more cautiously. And the people who think no are absolutely adamant that it's not. Evening out here. Ten more seconds to vote. Okay. So has adult baby ever been said? Beach marks. Let's go. No, adult baby has never been said in Parliament. Sorry. Cash out, everyone. <laughs> this is surprisingly fun. <laughs> this is a surprisingly fun way to spend time. 
And of course, the words adult and baby have been said loads. That's not really a surprise. First time either was said in, it was in 1849. Adult babies, plural. Okay. And I will count that. Well, we can't now, I suppose. Huh? <gasps> what? 1947. <laughs> What what happened in nineteen forty seven? Adult <laughs> <laughs> It's there It's there <laughs> Adult babies The provision of more assistance and social advantages of all kinds is obviously something to which we must always direct our attention. But there is a danger of causing to grow up in a society a class of individual who relies too heavily upon these social services. There are people who are prepared to take advantages and we should not attempt in any way to encourage people to behave as adult babies. <laughs> the original scroungers were adult babies. Anxious to make use of the public feeding bottle. The the original anti you know, this is just is this not this is sure this is just after World War Two, the anti scrounger rhetoric was adult babies. Uh, theoretically, yeah, you, you you should get the payout. Um I've I've obviously thrown like a double curveball at Jamba this time round, and I have no idea how to rectify that. Um, I I I mean, if we're being an absolute stickler to the to the, if we're being an absolute stickler to the to the rule, I searched exactly what I said I was going to search, and it didn't show up. But you, but. You know, your instincts were correct. There was one adult baby. Adult baby said in 1947. In future, I will search more. Okay. Has Inspector Gadget ever been said in Parliament? But it's not about the kink. It does not matter, Josie. We're looking for the term. I don't care what it refers to in their heads or in that time period. It's so funny. Like, it also feels like someone was trying this out as a piece of rhetoric and it didn't, like, catch on. No one ever said it again. The person who said it never said it again. <laughs> yeah, to me, I think people who need the welfare state are adult babies. And afterwards they're like, no, I'm not saying yeah, they just said it once in the speech. So funny. Uh, can we get a prediction for Inspector Gadget? Twenty seconds left for the Inspector Gadget betting. Quite a lot for yes. What do I think? Obviously, I'm not going to give my opinions while the vote's ongoing. One person has voted no, and they have betted incredibly... Co if I can see them in real time add the smallest amount of channel points. Everyone thinks yes. Why? Why are you all so sure of this? Inspector Gadget, why would it come up? I guess someone could, because I don't think there was a film, but that wasn't important enough to come up in Parliament. It was mostly known as a cartoon series. I'm sure it's based on something. But I guess it's, it's Inspector Gadget is like, um, you'd use it metaphorically to refer to someone who's... No, I have no idea why you think it would come up. Inspector Gadget. Let's find out the truth. Once. 
once less than a year ago. You're very, very lucky. <laughs> it's come up once. November 2021. I would say that's safe to pay out. That's safe to pay out then. Business of the house. Why did, why did it come up? Gadget. We need a debate about the Metropolitan Police. A couple of weeks ago, I wrote to them to investigate the recent Cash for Honours scandal after it was revealed that all recent Tory treasurers had been given places in the House of Lords following three million donations to Tory party coffers. It took the Met less than three days to refuse to investigate, giving no reasons why. Along with the Good Law Project, I have written to the Met requesting that they give the reasons why they refuse to investigate, or we will ask for that decision to be judicially reviewed. Surely the Leader of the House will agree that every whiff of corruption must be properly investigated. If the Met will not do it, maybe the Prime Minister could get his good friend Inspector Gadget to do it for us. And then Rhys Mogg responded. Why did he say Inspector Gadget? What does that mean? And, and Rhys Mogg doesn't address Inspector Gadget. I, I, I have no idea why he said it. Hi, Keep Positive Gamer. We are searching the UK Parliament Hansard, which is a written record of everything that's been said in the United Kingdom Parliament since the early 19th century. So we're coming up with things and we're, we're betting on whether or not anyone has ever said it in Parliament. Um, the latest thing is Inspector Gadget, which was said once uh, last year. And before that, we searched Adult Babies, which confusingly was said once in 1947 is it a real cop with that name there's no way a real cop's called inspective this is an smp mp referred to someone as inspector gadget but i just don't know who that is what about yo-yo i'll add it to the list but i may warn you the the list is young also keep positive gamer i think yo-yo has come up i think it's not on the edge for me i want things that aren't i want things that i think are a bit unclear if it will be in that i think yo yo will be no problem beth i hope it's an easy bedtime uh what's next what's next Back the gadget okay simp has anyone ever said simp in parliament yo-yo could be used as a metaphor yeah the honorary gentleman is yo-yoing on this issue or i remember when i was growing up loads of kids had yo-yos it takes one minister to go i'm worried about all the kids they got too many yo-yos you know <laughs> my children doesn't want to know the seven times table but he does want to do around the moon on his yo-yo easy peasy Can we get a prediction, please, for simp? Will simp come up? We have around 200 years of Hansard to go over. In that time, has anyone said simp? Silly bands? Is that something you're submitting to the list? I don't know what silly bands means. <laughs> Well, my kid's not on the yo-yo. He's just, just simping. He doesn't know how to multiply seven by eight. <laughs> okay, we got 33 seconds left. Anyone said simp? Lots of people think not on your Nelly. Huge amount of channel points are just going into an outright no. Yeah, I reckon it would have been used in like 1905 and it means something we've never heard of before. Like it refers to a kind of flower. I, I mean, you can't tell with simp. It's like cuckold, you know? It might just have been used ages ago. Team simp. I guess we need to work out if we count typos. Piss was in there, but it was mostly in there as a type. Well, there was plenty of non-typos. 
lots of typos. Okay, here we go. Is simp in the Hansard? No, simp is not in the Hansard. Uh, simps, I don't think it will make a difference. No, no one's ever said simp. Quotes around it. Don't need a quote around a single word, but if it makes you feel better. No one has ever said we could do simping if you like. Simping. I don't think it's here. The idea that simping would be there, but simp isn't, would be mind boggling. Could we try quickly Homer Simpson? Homer Simpson's going to be there, but I don't think. I don't think it's relevant. Homer Simpson will be there. Look. 1898. What? <laughs> huh? Why did you say... Why someone said Homer Simpson in 1898? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I put it in quotes, that'll go away. Yeah, that confusing one's gone away now. <laughs> Someone was probably referring to the poetry of Homer while addressing, you know, Mr. Simpson, my, the honourable colleague from Dover. Should have been a real person. Wasn't, sadly. Uh, did we get the payout for that? Yeah, everyone won big. Well, apart from... Well, no, 12 people lost out on that. Okay, what's next on the list? Uh, we have done simp. <laughs> now, Jambard, could I please have a prediction for fart noise? Has the words... Or has the phrase fart noise ever been said in UK Parliament? I think yes. I think yes, it will have done. I think there's just too many times. You know, the thing about the phrase fart noise is it's already sort of polite. Like... Obviously, Jacob Rees-Mogg wouldn't say fart noise, but I think a lot of other parties, someone if, if someone needed to describe flatulence, sometimes they might say fart noise. Are we allowing farting if that comes up? No. It's fart noise. And I'll accept fart noises. I'll even accept farting noise. It's not compliant with our guidelines. Well, don't write the term in. Everyone who's watching knows what we're talking about. Just just put the noise. <laughs> Not compliant with our guidelines. <laughs> Art noise breaks the TOS. You know, just put the, the noise. You know. Yeah, did it allow did it allow piss? That's weird. If if you can't because we're not even talking about a fart, right? We're just talking about a noise. Piss is worse than any noise because it's real. Noises aren't real. Okay, what have we got? That's the taboo phrase been said in Parliament. No. People think fart noise has never been said. And remember, I'm accepting fart noise, fart noises, and farting noise. But if it's just fart or farting... I'm not interested. I will search all of them, but I'm letting you know what the you know what you need to get the payout. Put my biggest bet so far on this. How's it looking? Okay, people are very very confident that it's not. You know, whenever the vote is skewed, it's always a small amount betting big and then a large amount betting small. That's interesting. It's noted they've done the farting noise with their hands. Well, like in Parliament, like stop doing the farting noise. Okay, looks like bets have concluded. Let's search fart. Oh, in quotes. Don't want to hear about a fart and I don't want to hear about a noise. I want to hear about a fart noise. 
Moment of truth? No. Should we try farting noise? No. Farting noises? No. Fart noises? <laughs> no. Fart sound? Yeah, will I, should I accept fart sound? Should I accept fart sound? Because it is the same, isn't it? It's the same fart sound. And I'm not accepting fart or farting because that's not the same as a fart sound. A fart sound is a sound. A fart is a, is a gas, you know? It's a different thing. No. Okay, has anyone even just said fart? Yeah, people have been saying fart for 200 years. <laughs> people have said fart. People have said fart 98 times over 200 years. In 1931, they said fart three times. And people have been saying fart the whole time. Talking about um, war debts with France. Did the Chancellor of the Exchequer, when he was negotiating recently with regards to French bonds, bring this very prominent fart to the notice of the French government? Fact. Fact. It must mean fact, right? An R could look like, if we're talking about OCR readers, a very curly R could look like a C, right? we're probably going to get a lot of facts as farts. Okay, so if I'm right, this is also going to say fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Either sent were not indebted or the extent alleged or had in fart already discharged their income tax liabilities. It's just um, OCR reading problems. <laughs> Army estimates from 1903 to 04. It is a fart all the same that he employs boy and girl labour when other manufacturers employ men labour, which may account for the different quality of goods supplied. Oh my god, Mr. Keir Harder. Keir Starmer's granddad. Very, very old fashioned 1903 sexism that has been accidentally misread as the word fart. checked fat but why would i expect that to come up with anything but you're right we shouldn't expect anything i do like seeing the word fart accidentally written in to ask the postmaster general whether in view of the fart that arrangements <laughs> this is very childish this is very childish but i'm finding it very funny And to the fart that though, I mean, we've got the gist, haven't we? Let's look at fact noise, but I can't imagine anyone's ever said that to me. Let's do that. What? What? Fact noise? Okay, here's my prediction for why fact noise has been said four times in the House of Parliament. I don't think, don't think of it in terms of fact noise. Think of it in saying, it wasn't, it was in fact noise that the defendant heard through the door. Do you think? And as a matter of fact, noise can cause damage to the eardrums. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're all getting it. We're all getting it. See, look, this is a noise certification order, so it's going to be... Heathrow Airport will be pleased to know that, in fact, noise levels are likely to decrease. It's exactly what we thought it would be. We're so smart. We're so clever here. This person says fact all the time. The word fact it comes up 20 times in this speech. In fact, noise has become a major social problem. Quiet cities. Rory Stewart said fact noise. 
but in fact noise is different from air pollution. I mean, we've got it, but uh, we just find it one last time. Noise. In fact, noise is regarded. There we go. Art noise is complete. Girl boss. Jambud, can I please have a prediction for has girl boss ever been said? And also, we need to discuss. Do the prediction now, but but we should discuss. Does it have to be girl boss one word, or can I search girl space boss? What do you think? One and two words. Do you think it has to be one word? Or should I allow <laughs> girl space boss? One word. Do we think it has to be one word? Okay, everyone's saying one word. SK makes a really good point. SK is making an incredible point here. Someone might actually say girl boss one word in Parliament, but the transcriber has never heard this before and just goes girl space boss. Okay, you've got a minute left. Girl space boss is allowed. Girl space boss is allowed. It's, we have to include it to ensure, to ensure that any genuine uh, evocations of girl boss could come up in our search. Hello, big white horse. Do you think... Um, girl boss has ever been said in the UK Parliament in the last 200 years. We are betting on that now. Okay. Okay, girl hyphen boss. I, I, I accept the rationale on that. I, I accept the wisdom. There's a lot of wisdom here and we're all reasonable people. We can play fair. Okay, so let's just search for the one and only... Girl boss. I mean, if this comes up now, all of this intellectualizing is, is, is irrelevant. Okay, there's no girl boss, one word. You want me to search girl bosses? I mean, that's fair, but, but it doesn't come up with anything. Then we'll search for girl hyphen boss. comes up with nothing and we're also going to pluralize girl bosses nothing and then la this could be unsatisfying if it's just it comes up but it doesn't mean anything like what we're expecting here we go does girl boss count we have decided that girl space boss does count Contra when it was controversial Mm. Oh, oh, it wasn't in space. It wasn't it wasn't in speech marks. That doesn't count. Has never been said. Girl girl bosses. Has never been said. A big no payout. No one has ever said any variant on girl boss in Parliament. Um, sorry to hear about your recent bankruptcy, SK. <laughs> Girls who get it, get it. Thank you very much, too. Can we get some J's in the chat as well for Jambud running the predictions? I say, as I'm about to ask for another prediction. Can we get Chugi? Has anyone ever said Chugi? 
Let me see the details of this payout. Everyone put no. That's good. Oh no. Once again, the pe most people said yes. But the people who voted no, the smaller team always votes big. Sorry, Buzz Josie. I did, I did think this would be a lot more lo-fi than it's turned out to be. But uh, this is more fun. It's more fun to run this like a casino. Thank you very much, Big White Horse, for the follow. Clearly, we have a Hansard fan in. SK Schaefer gifted a tier one sub to Josie Hypatia, etc. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, SK. Oh, that gets you puncted, does it? Okay, Chugi has 15 seconds to go. Everyone's saying no. Two people have two people have said yes. Oh, someone's voted quite big on yes. But that that's surely not, right? Surely not. We have to allow for misspellings of Chugi. I'll I'll accept that. I mean, I can only think of two important ones. EU and UE. Do you think there are more I should take into account? Chugi. Has anyone ever said Chugi? I really don't think so. This is really out on a limb. No, obviously not. And I will account for a misspelling, which looks weird. And I, yeah, I'll even accept Dr. Plem's Chugi. No. I mean, of course not. Of course not. I think I think we're safe to pay out. I don't know what else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Chugi. I mean, this could go on for a long time. There's nothing here. But it does mean most people are back in profit. I think that's a safe payout. I think we call it, I think we call it dead on arrival. Yeah, it does go into the future. I don't know why. And it also goes back into the 1700s, which, I mean, I've searched to 1800. There is no Hansard record on this archive from before that time. If you need to go and make dinner, you, you can make dinner. Please don't feel like you have to run predictions for the Hansard stream instead of eating. Can we check if we said in the future? I don't know how. I mean, yeah, all right. We just put to the year 3000. Will anyone ever say Chugi? I mean, it just it shows you all the way to the year 3600. Um, Jan, but before you go, can you search, can you do a prediction for better watch it? Although I should um, learn how to do this myself. Oh, Catbox, can you, can, can you do it? Can I put you in charge of the, the predictions? Can you do a prediction for better watch it? I am going to bring that back to Yeah, Chugi is now part of the national aesthetic. I feel this is a weird one. Better watch it. Surely it has been said. Those three words together have been said to you. Is it really on the fence? Better watch it. I don't know, though. Why would you say that? Well, Hello, Harry Hardy. Thank you for ushering in the welcome bear. It is always nice to see a new face in chat. I love to see this community grow. If anyone said this, they would be forced to recant it from the record. SK, were you not here when we searched the word piss? The word piss has been said like 50 times in Parliament. Better watch it. And as well, you're thinking better watch it like it's, you know, 
a white van man with his fists clenched. But they could be saying, <laughs> they could be saying, oh, have you heard, have you heard about Inspector Gadget? No, I haven't. What's that? It's a cartoon. He goes, oh, I better watch it. I'd better watch it. And then it would come up in the Hanson. <coughs> I should have muted so I could cough without causing a disturbance. Good night, Killian. Don't piss isn't a threat. It's, it's a rule. It's a law. Um, did, have we done a prediction for Better Watch It? Or are we waiting on one? I see that people have predicted. No, pe people have done predictions. So we must be in it. Are we good to check? Are we good to look for Better Watch It? Have we done a prediction? Prediction is closing now. Oh, I don't see it. You're going to start saying to people, don't piss, what, and see if they feel threatened. Give them a survey saying, did you feel threatened by this? If they say yes, you say, I'm sorry. Oh, were you able to see that Hypatia has been correct instantly? I'm sorry, I don't see I don't see the prediction for some reason. Can people tell me when it's closed and when it's time to reveal? Don't piss is actually quite a horrible thing. Yeah, we're good to go. Better watch it. And how did people vote? Because I think SK's gone nay way. SK is the only person who seems to have voted against it. But surely better watch it. Let's just come up. Better watch it. Okay. Has anyone in Parliament ever said better watch it? Of course they have. Surely. Look how long it's taken to load the results. It has been said six times. So there we go. Cash out. Better watch it has has happened. But only between 1977 and 2003. So let's look at the first and last. Let's look at the first and last Better Watch It. Was it 2003, the last one? House of Lords reform. Okay, watch. Member, members see the holy light what are we talking about here? <laughs> what is this? The European Community Drivers Hours. Members will attend debates and perhaps they will be reported in the press. It is often said what a marvellous thing the common market is, but when it comes to individual measures, honourable members see the holy light and say, this is dodgy, the ministers had better watch it, he had better be intransigent and hold up the matter and wave the flag after having sold the pass on the principle of the common market. It just sounds like it was mid-70s EU stuff. Watch it. I had better watch it because he is not in his place, but a former government cheap whiff, whip says that the Parliament Act is outdated. Yeah, it just comes up as, as a phrase. This game's totally cheap. What would be the point? People have said better watch it. The two things we've checked are, are normal speech, saying better watch it in the normal way. 100% calling it. This is, this is an open and shut case. of It is in the Hansard. Hi, Gnome Jerome. Are you a Hansard fan? Let's look at what the next prediction should be. <laughs> The Beast of Bodmin. I think 100% the Beast of Bodmin has come up. I think 100%. But we'll still do it. Can someone, uh, can a mod please set up a prediction for the Beast of Bodmin? 
how did Better Watch It turn out? Sorry, it has been said um, somewhere between five and ten times between 1977 and 2003. What does the payout look out? People are betting big. Yeah, people were very confident on that one, as they should have been. We've lost 60k. Who will what is the Beast of Bodmin? Yeah, I'm happy to provide some context on the Beast of Bodmin. Beast of Bodmin. Uh, the Beast of Bodmin Moor is the big cat. It is the most famous big cat loose on the UK moors. Where is Bodmin? Cornwall. Bodmin Moor. That's it, really. Big cat. Um, we have ooh, quite a long time to predict here. We've got about 80 seconds left. Um, 12 people think Beast of Bodmin will definitely come up. One person thinks that, well, three people think not, but they voted the smallest amount possible. So they're not confident. That's shot up to 5k. Nevertheless, there is a quarter of a million channel points sunk into yes. I've made a big bet within the Beast of Bolt over. Yeah, I, I, I think Dennis Skinner will be referred to within the Houses of Parliament, 100%. That is a normal cat. Yes, um, this is I am not an advocate for the belief in the Beast of Bodmin. But uh, it will have come up. You know, I tend to think that the belief in big cats is a very posh conspiracy theory. And therefore, I think it will be represented in Parliament. I think some Tory living in Exeter, who with nothing to do and no opinions, who just follows the party whip, one day decides that that's their thing. And they've got a hundred odd years to do that in. That's what I think. You know, I not only think it'll come up, but I think it will be a Tory. I think it'll either be a Tory or something smaller but tory like UKIP or English Democrat or something like that. The spirit theory about the way of belief behind the spirit theory. My belief about the weight of belief behind a conspiracy theory is not in itself a conspiracy theory. It's just a belief about a conspiracy theory. I don't believe anyone's conspiring regarding the amount that they believe. I think it's just a belief. Anyway, does the Beast of Bodmin, has that ever been said in the UK Parliament? Beast of Bodmin. I think probably yes. Let's find out. And also, it, it had so long to be said. I think it's an old myth. Beast of Bodmin? Beast of Bodmin? I, I sometimes take how long that little thing there spins and loads the page as a sign. Has there been any particularly startling revelations so far? PD, we looked up adult babies. And it's been said once in 1947. <laughs> That's that's my favourite one so far. The Beast of Bodmin. There was a big year for it in 1998. It was said five times. And it was said once in 1996. And then after that, no one cared anymore. Beast of Bodmin. Yeah, so PD. that There was this Tory MP. So right, 1947, World War II's just ended. And they were trying to do this anti-welfare state rhetoric. And he was saying, you know, all these people who aren't working and are relying on the welfare state, they're like adults who are babies. They just call them adult babies. And I think that's so funny. Yeah, there was a whole, there was a whole thing done on... Um, they had this Mr. Morley. Okay. What party do you think Mr. Morley represents? <laughs> it's going to be a Tory though, isn't he? I don't want to know about a Tory Morley. Wait, who is he? What party? Who's Mr. Morley? 
Why doesn't he have his full name? Everyone else gets their full name. Hang on, who's Mr. Morley? The Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food. He's a civil servant, it looks like. Parliamentary sector Secretary is not an elected position, right? So he's just a civil servant, I think. No, no, he's not a Tory Morley, is he? 1997, when did Blair get in? 1998, hang on. When was Tony Blair in power? 1997 general election, yeah. So he's a civil servant under a Blair government. And I call this one, yeah, 100%, Beast of Bodmin. Bodmin, the Beast of Bodmin. The defamation bill in Lords. Why are they talking about that in the defamation bill? I mean, I guess it's not important. We're just here to gamble. He could still be a Tory, but we got no evidence he's a Tory. He's just, I mean, he's a civil servant, so he's probably a Tory. Elliot Morley. Oh, yeah, there he is. Why well, he's not a Tory. Glanford and Scunthorpe. He accused the Daily Telegraph of continuing to claim parliamentary expenses. Oh, he was accused by the Daily Telegraph. He got a BED from the Hull College of Education. He was the head of a special of head of special needs at Greatfield High School in Hull. He was part of the expenses scandal. He was the former president of Hull Teachers Association. And does he believe in the big cat? Does he believe in the beast of Bodmin? Bodmin. Like, who is actually asking for the investigation? Because I think he's probably being called upon by a Tory. Mr. Keith Simpson. Well, who's this? Mr. Keith Simpson from Mid-Norfolk. The Durham Puma, the Nottingham Lion, and the Cougar of Cooper. The Fen Tiger. Who is he? Just some guy, isn't he? It's just people. I think they've brought in people who believe in the in the big cats. All right, doesn't matter. Moving on. Easter Bodmin, easy win. We have fun here. Has the phrase "We have fun here" ever been said in the UK Parliament? What's your position on we have fun? No, we have fun here. We have fun is is a hundred percent yes, I think. We have fun here has to be. And I won't budge on that. I feel that very strongly. You think a hundred percent we have fun here? Why would it be so? Why? <laughs> We have fun here. Good night, Big White Horse. By the way, Big White Horse, if you ever want to catch up with us when we're not live, we got a Discord where we all hang out and draw pictures of snails all day long. Chugi has already come up. Chugi has not been said. Fart noise has not been said. And girl boss has not been said. We have looked. We have looked for them. Are we doing we have fun? No. We're doing we have fun here. Has to be all of those. Let's see how's it going. People are going to predict no, right? Huh. <laughs> Why a lot of people think yes? We have fun here. Now the issue is, right, if you search something like Chugi or Girl Boss, you're really requiring it to have been said in the last 10 years. But the phrase, we have fun here, while there's not a lot of reason to it have been said, that phrase is still something people would have said 100 years ago. 
you do have more opportunities for it to be said. But it's also such a weird thing to say in Parliament. I think it's a nice one. I think it's a nicely difficult one. Oh, I've swayed it. When I initially started talking about this, yes was winning by a landslide. I should give my opinions while the stream's still going. I want you to know, I don't, I don't have any special insight on this. I'm just one guy. What are we searching for? We have fun. No, no, look, 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 look at this here. In We have fun here. And I'm not budging on this. It has to be precisely this. We have fun here. We have fun 100% will have come up. We have fun here. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Between 1800 and 2022, has anyone ever said, we have fun here? It loaded for a bit. Not long enough, though. I think, I think it might be... Sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, everyone. Why would anyone say that in Parliament? <laughs> why, would any, why would anyone say that? <laughs> I mean, I'll search we have fun, but this does not, this is nothing to do with the cash out. This is just for our own curiosity. We have fun. Look, well, three times. It's closer than I thought it would be. First time in 1954, then 1972, and then 1996, big year. What did they say? The finance bill, the members' expenses and financial interests, and educational choice. Viscount Chelmsford said, we have fun. Why? Why did he say that? Fun. We have fun. Huh? What did I search? We have fun. Yeah, so you must have said it. We have fun. We have fun. Eh? We have. Have fun. He didn't say it. What about this? Huh? It's not in here. Is it in either of these others? Have fun? Yeah, when we have fun in this house, it can be strewed in a way damaging to us all. My honourable friend had a good deal of fun, and this is the danger. When we have fun in this house, it can be construed in a way damaging to us all. Uh, Lord Wilmot of Selmerston. <laughs> Awful. Not that it matters here in this house. We have fun in debate. I think it mitigates Mi militates militates define militates be a powerful conclusive factor in preventing SK Schaefer gifted a tier 1 sub to RCPTNMSC thank you for the uh, gifted sub you know it's funny right because we have fun are all about them having fun in the Houses of Parliament. So they could have been expressed as, we have fun here, but they just didn't say that. We had, they said, we have fun in this house. We have fun in debate here in this house. You know, here in this house, we have fun is so close, but I can't give it to you. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Ball lightning. <laughs> Has ball lightning ever been said in Parliament? That's, that's, that's actually a hard one. It's like the Beast of Bodmin one. It just takes one person to get it in their head that ball lightning's worth talking about, and then it will get in there. But it, but also, it's mad to talk about ball lightning. I think ball lightning's. Probably not real. Probably not real. 
Although I'm I'm more on. The, what do I think's more in my head? I'm posing the question. What do I think's more likely to be real, the Beast of Bodmin or Ball Lightning? I actually don't know. They're both sort of plausible. I want to say Beast of Ball Lightning and the Beast of Bodmin are mentioned in the same speech. We can ensure you get some extra points if that turns out to be the case. All likely will definitely cover some legislation. Why? It's not proven to exist. Will you accept Ball of Lightning? Will I accept Ball of Lightning? You know what? Ball, ball Lightning does have other names, right? I think it's sometimes called Orb Lightning. Ball Lightning. Oh, maybe it's not sometimes called. Is it never called Orb Lightning? No, I've made that up. Made that up. Um. Yeah, I think it's just called Ball Lightning. Do I want to accept Ball of Lightning? I'm not searching an orb of ball lightning. I mean, it's all covered by ball lightning, isn't it? If they say orb of ball lightning. We take ball off. Just informally, what do you think? If we couldn't have adult babies, then we can't have this. Bird makes a good point. We set a precedent that whatever we thought it was when we took the bet, that's what it is. It's just ball lightning. And then we will search ball of lightning to satisfy our curiosity. But we're just looking for ball lightning. Ball light. And it's, and it's lightning, right? That's how you spell it. Lightning. Ball lightning. Has anyone in Parliament ever said ball lightning? It loaded just that little bit longer than usual. Once. <laughs> oh no, three times, but probably in the same speech. In 1979, I think there was one thing. Yeah, the Earl of Halsbury. <laughs> the Earl of Halsbury called a uh, parliament about unidentified flying objects with Lord Straboldki. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Hang on. The little bit of primer. I want to find this bit of primer here. Interesting and controversial. Controversial. My lords, as the noble lord, Lord Trefgarn, has said, the majority of noble lords in this chamber will be greatly indebted to the noble earl, Lord Clancarty, for raising this fascinating and controversial subject this evening. Before I begin, perhaps I should say that I have an interest in it, because I'm a director of a company which is to make an identified <laughs> flying object. A thermo skyship, which is saucer-shaped. I shall not get that muddled up, but in spite of sceptics, such as the noble lord Lord Whig the other day, in a newspaper, and Sir Bernard Lovell from Jodrell Bank, who says that UFOs do not exist, we must agree that they do, because otherwise there would be no unidentified flying objects. Furthermore, we should not have throughout the world radio telescopes listening to try and pick up signals from intelligences in outer space. I am going to put this in my Insta paper, my um, Read Later app, and I'm going to read this entire debate. I am going to read this entire thing in my spare time. It, it is mind-bogglingly good. That one paragraph. 
Yeah, me and Jambird, we've been to a festival at Jodrell Bank. It was. Um, in this guy's a bitch. Yeah, they must exist because why would we be checking if they exist? Uh, why would we be checking if something doesn't exist exists? Uh. <laughs> okay, ball lightning, we can pay out. Absolutely, it's in there. Uh, we have fun here. We can also remove as well. Now, after the payout, we have. I've I something about this is one of the ones I'm most excited about. Let me see how this worked out for people. Oof, it was really tight. Most people thought it wasn't. I know most people thought it it was. And as usual, the minority betted bigger than the majority. Okay. Has the phrase, you don't have to be mad to work here, ever been said in Parliament? And I, I don't see any reason to budge on that wording. You don't have to be mad to work here is a set phrase. It doesn't budge. There's no... Plurals. No, you do have to be. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. I'll expand, don't, do not. I'll expand, don't, do not. I've never in my life heard or read the phrase, you do not have to be mad to work here. But nevertheless, I will account for it. One thing we've learned reading these lords talking amongst themselves is they have no interest in making a sentence more efficient or expressing themselves concisely or clearly. So we do need to assume they won't, uh, they won't say things in a concise way. Okay, how are we going? We have 90 seconds. Left to go. Hmm. Some big bets from no. No is the confident party right now. Yes is underconfident. Or maybe just channel point poor. A lot of people have been decimated tonight. Gambling ruins lives. When the fun stops, stop. It is a long phrase as well, we should say. It's a long phrase. It's the longest phrase that we've searched. And I think that works against it. At the same time, it's a common phrase, isn't it? If people, if people are saying, oh, we have fun here in this house, in this house we have fun, is it really that hard to imagine someone says you don't have to be mad to work here? I can imagine um, Mahari Black saying, you think you don't have to be mad to work here, but I think you do have to be mad to work here. I think you're all mad. And then going on BBC 24 and going, I think they're all mad. And they're all mad. Okay, when it's nearly time to check. You don't have to be mad to work here. Now that I'm about to hit enter, my instincts have really heightened and I don't think there's a chance in hell. I don't think there's a chance in hell that such a prosaic little phrase has just would come up. But we'll see, because there's a bunch of eccentrics. I think... I think if it comes up, it's House of Lords. That's my meta prediction. If it's in there, it's House of Lords. Here we go. Never been said. It has never been said. Never, ever been said. I will, of course, put you do not... Never been said. Of 
course it has never been said. It's never been said. And of course, that's so obvious. Is the quoted search check of a capital two? No, it's not. Previous results have confirmed the capitalization isn't important. You've title case that. <laughs> I'll put it all. I, I'm very confident that's not an important factor, but. But if it, if it makes you feel better, is it all lowercase? Happy? One does not have to be. For our own. For our own curiosity, I will put in one does not. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if that came up? Let's just try one does not have to be mad. Okay, let's just try you don't have to be mad. You don't have to be mad. I bet that's come up. I can feel it. I bet that's come up. Yeah, it loaded. It loaded that little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> last, last search. Mad to work. It has been said. Mad to be work has been said three times. It's said five times. Once in 1991. Once in 2011. Once in 2012, how does that get to five times? The prevention of nuclear proliferation. Have to be mad. It would be like you have to be mad to set off a nuclear bomb. And for mad to work. Oh, it's not quite what I searched for. It doesn't quite like long phrases sometimes. Mad to work. Mad. Mutually assured destruction, of course. EU sanctions on Iran. Mad? Oh. Mad? But for mad to work, it's mutually assured destruction. Yeah, so then they're, they're never actually talking about being mad to work here. They're talking about the principle of mutually assured destruction. You know, the nuclear deterrent. By mad, they mean a nuclear deterrent. So when they say you have to, you have, you need mad to work, they mean, they mean we need, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I think these are silly. Do you, do you agree that maybe these are just silly and then there's no point? There's no, I mean, now that we're playing this betting game, these aren't coming up. We should move on from these because they're 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 silly. They're not good. <sighs> these are all quite silly. Hmm. We've got to lead this. Sean Morley, Doctor Doom, sleeps until Christmas. Live, laugh, love. How did I forget about that? Given given what we're playing now, let's see if we're being British. I don't know. None of those speak to me. Given that we've played, given that we've played, let's get some more. Let's let's take some more in. I mean, a lot of these conclusively will be. I think we can we can make better ones now that we've played a few rounds. Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Now that's good. Dick and Dom in da bungalow. And I would also include the as well. Because I don't know if the, the transcriptionist would know to write da. Rock the Casbah. Yeah, I think it exists in the right element, but it's not... Hokey Cokey, Pirate Tiger. I think you'll find it's Hokey Cokey. Garlic bread, that would be amazing.
<laughs> yeah, we've all got, do you know what I mean? We've developed that feel for what's a good thing to bet on. The lads. What do you think? The lads. <laughs> I think it, no, no, that's rubbish actually. The lads will be in there. The lads will be in. Finger of fun. What is that? What does that mean? I've never even heard that before. Finger of fun. Fredo Frog. As in, that's the name of the mascot, right? That's not the name of the chocolate bar. That's the name of the, the mascot on the chocolate bar. Ah, Great British Bake Off will just 100%. I think it's so big that it will it will just come up. That's what I go to school for. I'm gonna I'm gonna now say that for falling too far on the other side. One whip. <laughs> Why do I find that one so fun? Walnut whip. Go on. Prediction for Walnut Whip. Predi I don't know what it is, but w my dad will have come up, obviously. Hashtag will have come up. Vianetta, Albert Square will have done. Walnut Whip. It's right on the middle where I think you just can't really predict. You just have no idea. There's no, there's no way of thinking about it to, to come up to it. You think Vianetta would pop up? Vianetta was this strange. Vianetta had this weird prominence in culture in the late 20th century, and I think it probably would. 4chan will have come up 100%. I think I've even heard people say 4chan in the comments. White dog poo. <laughs> oh, wow. People are really leaning towards yay for Walnut Whip, but why? Voting's about to close. You want to get some voting in? You now can't. Voting has closed. Peter K. He's, he's, Peter K would have come up. He was too big. He's up there with... Back in the day, Peter K was Great British Bake Off. Okay, what are we doing? Walnut Whip. You ready? Has anyone ever said Walnut Whip in Parliament? Yeah, twice. Twice. Very, very, very close. It's been said twice ever. Once in 2007 and once in 2011. Let's just check. The, one was in a discussion about the Olympic Games 2012 Heritage and Arts funding. And one was in the Olympic Games and Paralympic Bill. What's the relationship between Walnut Whip and the Olympics? Walnut. We were also concerned about the cost to Londoners. I well remember the previous mayor announcing to the Assembly that the cost to a Londoner would be no more than the daily cost of a walnut whip. The only problem is that the daily cost of a walnut whip over 25 years is likely to lead to diabetes and long-term health issues, which is precisely the problem that London is facing in having to pay for the games over an extended period. <laughs> and then why did it come up again? Ken Livingstone famously said would not have to pay more than the price of a walnut whip for the London Olympics. I fancy that we will be charged for a box full. Yeah. So if you knew about Ken Livingstone saying that, you would have had a big shoe in there. If it weren't for Ken Livingstone, you would have lost. How much does a walnut whip cost? It's weird. He's a weird guy, isn't he? 
He's just a weird guy. What was that Ken Livingston video? What did Ken Livingston do? Was it around the time of the tube strikes? Didn't he do something really weird? What am I thinking of? Ken Livingston train station. Look it up. Ken Livingston. Oh, yeah. So it was like, Ken, why are you doing this? I can't what he was doing. Was he getting mad at XR people? Train station video. Ken Livingston holds up a train. Yeah, he stuck his foot in a train. I can't remember what this is. Goodbye, Domeki. But there's this bit, right? The guy's filming him or someone nearby is like, Ken, why are you doing this? And it's just so funny to me. Is that bit in the end he's like, Ken Livingston, you should know better than this. Listen, you should know better than this. What are you doing? Ken Livingston, you should know better than this. What are you doing? I love that. I love that. Ken Livingston, you should know better than this. You're the former mayor of London. Get your foot out of the train door. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Okay, that was Walnut Whip. Um, the payout has been processed. Uh... What else is worth searching in? Maybe I'll look through the big list as well. The Joker, he'll have come. The Joker would have come up. Jokerfication just won't be in there. It's hard, right? You've got to get this real Goldilocks zone. <laughs> Old stinker. Kept that quiet. That would have come up. Absolutely, that would have come up. I mean, we could do. I bet your fun at parties. Do we think there's anything in that? Or do we think that's too silly? Poo poo, no way. Have we met in the Nottingham Joker before? No, news to me. No, I've heard of him. He's just dressed as the Joker all the time, right? He's just one of these people who likes to be in costume. Grumpy cat. Too long. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe, maybe that's... Hi, Ed. We've just been betting on what terms have ever been said in Parliament. And to be honest, it's been very fun. I think I might come back to the... Like, I think this could go in the list of things we come back to. We've done it for two hours straight, and it's actually been, it's actually been a lot of fun. Would people be up for another one of these at some point in the future? Dropped a bowling ball on something. That's really bad. This was a great time. I'll put it in my list of like recurring streams, which I always forget to make. I always do things once and then put them in the bin. And I should learn to not do that. I feel like that's illegal is a no-brainer. Someone would have said that's illegal in Parliament, given that they're discussing the law. That's why, France. It would have come up. You've got to remember, like, you got to think what comes up in Parliament and anything to do with manufacture. You've got to remember that across the 20th century, Britain moved away from being a, having a massive textile industry. So, like, why, France probably would have come up, right? Because we had loads of textile work. Get off of me. <laughs> Belly button would have come up. But they would say, would they say why fronts or pants? Fuck. I think fuck won't be in there. I think get off. I think we do one last one. We're doing our last one now. And it is get off of me. Can we do a prediction, please? Or get off of me. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know if that comes up, it's going to be good. You know if we just find one of those, it'll just be something that's perfect. Get off of me. Has anyone ever said the phrase, get off of me in Parliament? I really want to believe in this. Any variants? Maybe get off me. Get off me, maybe, because it's the same thing, I think. But not get off. Just get off me and get off of me. Oh wow, that bet went by fast. Did everyone bet who got who wanted to bet? Are we able to redo that? It's the last bet, so I'd like everyone to have a have a shot at the at the last bet. That's okay. If there's a way to nullify and, and, and do a longer one. Get off of we will search, so also, now you know, we're also going to include or get off me, but not get off or unhand me, which we'll, we won't count that. And then I think I'll call that for tonight. We've got um, the Friday night stream and we've got hat game on Saturday. If you, if you can, if you do have any hats to send in, remember you get um, some points towards your score for having sent in any hats. Um, so probably, probably won't go late tonight because I got, I got busy in my life. And of course, yes, if you are a lurker, if you are new, please pop on the Discord. Wow, a lot of people really want to believe. I've got to say, I don't in my heart of hearts think it's likely. It's feel likely that someone will get off of me. Ah, it's the old impatient bet big strap. I mean, I'm desperate for it to be true. Wouldn't that be a wonderful discovery? I can't think. I can't think of anything that's more guaranteed to be. Okay, how long we got left? 15 seconds left to vote. Get in if you want to. 23 points. You're never going to be able to trigger the magic roundabout now. Yeah, it happens in the same speech, just later in that paragraph. <laughs> okay, the predictions have closed. We are now searching for get off of me and get off me. <laughs> get, I mean, it's not going to be in there. Get off of me. <laughs> That loaded, I know you can't even see it on my shoulder, but that loaded there for quite a long time. In my head, I've developed, you know, this Skinner box theory that that, that means there's something here, but it's not true. It's not true. No one has said, get off. Get off Here we go. This is the last chance saloon for all of the big spenders out there. This is the only other variant we're accepting. 
<laughs> it was said once in 1971. <laughs> That sent me mad. That sent me fully bonkers. What's going on? There's obviously like something going on. <laughs> Dame Irene Ward, Mr. Irwin, 1971, get off of me. What was it? What happened here? Is it like a news story? Did it, did... Well, what's going on? <laughs> Hang on. So, so, so the speaker is always listed below, right? Hang on. What's this about? Hang on. Hang on. We're going in. Oh, jeez. All right. So this is probably the big opening speech. What are they talking about? Flipping hell. What's going on here? Oh, okay. So the name comes on top. So the name is always on top. Then there's a line. Then there's what they say. Uh, okay. It's talking about how the North is underfunded and poor. Great. Okay. A good topic. Okay. The North is poor. What should we do about it? And then... And that's all said by, that's all been said by John A. Cunningham of Whitehaven. And then there is a statement made by, we're not going to go through all, obviously all these statements, what they're talking about. I just want to learn how to follow it. So then, and then Irene speaking. Concept, what's, what's your relationship to concept? Concept Iron and Steel Company. Oh, and then David Watkins is from Concert, and he's the MP for Concert. Uh, and that's the only time it's mentioned. And where are we? We're right at the top again here. Then Cunningham. Ladies jump from year to year, she'll recall. And then she responds saying, uh, you, I won't be diverted off of that. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. And she says, uh, uh, more stuff about just arguing economics and the North. Secretary of State for the Environment.
order, I am not telling anybody anything. But, you, but are you telling us, and the speaker interjects, Okay, so stuff's getting angry. Jared Kaufman says Rose and then gets cut off. The honor member has just come back into the chamber. Okay. Okay, so I think people are getting angry. They're giving long responses. And how do we get to get off of me from this? Rose is italics. Right, right, right. Stands up, I see. trying to skim otherwise this will be overwhelmingly long indicated dissent yeah you're right just a description of what they did when they didn't speak rose no it's really boring we had such a good momentum, a good jumping off point for the stream. And here I am, I've, I've thrown us into the weeds. We haven't even seen Irene in this scroll. Aim Irene Ward. I am not, hang on. On a point of order, after her marathon effort early this morning, I noticed that the Honourable Member for Tynemouth is now fast asleep. Dame Irene Ward, I am not asleep at all. I am sorry, I will not give way. I did not interrupt the Honourable Gentleman. I waited deliberately. Give way. No, I will not give way. Sheffield Healy. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to get light shed on this. People are getting angrier and angrier. Yes, but I get things done. The Honourable Lady has been looking forward to the day when she could poke her own minister. The Honourable Lady has eight months to do this poking. I have no idea. Either he got too physically close to her and she's saying, get off of me. Or she was saying it in some kind of metaphorical way of like, leave me alone, stop harrying me. Don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, get off of me. You're talking about whether I'm asleep, you're talking about my career. Get off of me. Yeah, it is a weird way of just saying that. You know, you'd think in Parliament, you'd say, you know, please, can we move on from the topic of my personal life and my career? That. it does not matter we've all had a good bet we've had a great time we're good friends and the stream was good and we can agree on all of that and go to bed happy um thank you for uh hanging out and betting on this stuff with me i think this will come back I think if we give it a few weeks and come back to this, we'll have a lot more uh, ideas for this. This was nice. Please pop on the Discord. Um, on Friday, I am going to do... Um, I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to do an Elden Ring challenge run. And I think it's a challenge I've never seen anyone else done. But uh, I'm going to try and get to the credits as fast as I can without encountering or learning any information about the Great Western Railway. And I haven't seen anyone do this. I don't know anything about the Great Western Railway. And by the end, I shouldn't know anything about the Great Western Railway that I don't already know. And if I can pull that off, I think it might even bring some of the gaming press our way. So 
I think that could be just uh, a, a good one to do for, for posterity and posterity. And uh, Saturday night hat game where we're going to get competitive. Um, PD currently is uh, our only incumbent winner, but uh, there's everything to play for. Hats are back, baby. Ow. Uh, there is no Great Western Railway in the game. I I've specifically picked a game that doesn't contain the Great Western Railway, doesn't have a railway, doesn't have rail lines, doesn't have industrialization, so that there's no way I can accidentally learn anything about the Great Western Railway. You know, it's it should be a safe stream, but a, like a point a point blank on it. Uh, and no one else has done it before, so I just want to, you know, sometimes you just want to stick your flag in, in fertile, in, in virgin earth. <clears throat> Will the chat be the main enemy? I don't see why there'd be, I don't see why there'd be any problem in it. We're all on the same page and we're all friends. We all want me to succeed. I don't, I don't see. Um, and that's it. Lots of things to look forward to. What if chat? I don't want to hear about it. I trust the chat. I trust everyone. I trust all of you. Uh, and that's it from me. I'm going to eat an orange and play triangle strategy in bed and then go to sleep. Yes, more vision prompts are out tomorrow. I don't know when in the day I'm going to do them. But I will do them. I have, I have worked out everyone's prompts. That, that's all done. Um, everyone's prompts are good. it'll be done at some point you know i was going to do it at a certain time and now my day has been shuffled around it's, it's just going to be you know it's just going to be when it's convenient for me it was going to be 11 a that's live good night everyone sleep well be well Behave nicely. Think about what it is you want. Seize the day. Live big. Hunger for new experiences. And chase every dream. And live the biggest life you can. And when you're heading to your rainbow you want to run so hard that your lungs collapse Sorry, i'm looking for someone to raise all the time um crescent angel interceptor is on I think Angel's doing a quiz. Oh, but it's, it'll be deep into the quiz. We'll, we'll head over to... See you later, everyone. Be nice, be well, healthy. Uh, and, you know, don't cause a... F Goodbye.